Okay, for my next little quick project, <clears throat> kind of taking it easy a week or two, I'm not doing anything real majorly heavy, but I kind of like this little, I like the way it looked in the book. It's out of that same book from Patrick Spillman, Fun and Easy Scroll Saw Patterns. Um, this is a model of the Eiffel Tower. Which we've got the Olympics going on in Paris, so I thought that might be fitting. Uh, you got two pieces and they slide together in these slots, as you can see right here. And the slot goes right here. And you got these pieces that kind of hold it together. I could have, I, I thought about stacking and cutting all these common internal cuts. Uh, then you'd have to unstack it and cut these differently. I wouldn't be able to get the outline completely because the outline is not the same. But then I decided, no, I'd just go ahead and lay them out and cut them all. It's uh, easy to cut. won't be much longer to cut it. Um, the main thing on this pro project is to get these slots accurate. This is 8th inch Baltic birch plywood. And that's what he cut his out of. But you got to make sure you get these slots accurate so they can slide together properly. You may have to do a little sanding or get a file hold of it, but I'm going to make sure I don't get it too wide. I'd rather have to make it fit together than it to be loose. So anyway, I'm going to get me a new blade. I'm going to cut this with a five, I believe. Uh, it's thin, but there's, they're large cuts, and i got more fives right now as far as blades. I've got some threes ordered. I'm waiting for them to come in. I'm getting really low on those. <laughs> so I'm going to cut these with a five. And... Uh, that's the plan right now. So I'll get over to the saw, get me a new blade in it, and I'll start whacking it up. Yeah, I broke those down into three pieces. So it'll be easier to handle instead of having that big bulky piece on the on the saw. It was kind of crowding me a little bit. So I broke it down into three more manageable pieces. And I'm going to start cutting them.
Okay, I've got it all cut out and got all the fuzzies cleaned off of it, I think. Went over it pretty well. Now we'll see how well it's going to fit together. Just got these five pieces and we'll see if I cut these slots where they'll fit. Well, that fit pretty well. Yeah, so we got these, got these three sections. Looks like a We'll have to do a little sanding on the leg, looks like. All right, so far so good. All right. All right. See if I can raise that up and get a look at it. And that's the way that's made. It'll hold together without glue. If you want to put it away, you can take it apart and stack it. Like I say, I might have to do a little work. It's sitting pretty well. There must have been a spot in my table. It's not rocking now. Okay. Anyway, that's this little quick project. I saw that. I just wanted to try it. So, if you like that, hit the like button. Yeah, it's going to be put this video up fairly early this week. I'm going to try to get another one up for the end of the week. If I can find something suitable. I hadn't even got the next one lined out yet. So, if you, hit the, if you like that, hit the like button. And if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. I'm going to put this in my model playlist. I've done a bunch of models in the past. And I'm going to kind of throw this in there with it. I saw that in the book, and I just liked it. I had to try it, and I had the material, so that's the reason I did it. And I kind of like uh, projects like that. So, thanks for watching, and uh, see if I can get another video up, see what I'm going to do. I don't even know what I'm going to do, so we'll both be surprised. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you in that video.